Hey guys, so I wanted to use my experience yesterday as an opportunity to go over hydration. Um, I talked to some of you guys, kind of put it on Facebook. Um, yesterday we moved in all of uh, Carolina Mind stuff into our apartment after it arrived, uh, you know, from the journey from Northern Virginia as well as Dan stuff. So it was a long, hot day, you know, the sun was out, 100 plus degrees here. Um, I want to show, I want to tell you about what I did wrong and um, how you can counteract that and you know stay hydrated, you know, because uh, it's such a critical thing. So yesterday, beforehand, I drank plenty of water, I drank about two gallons of water over the course of the day, and yet still at the end of the day, on the way to go get burgers with Dan after everything was said and done, I cramped up to the point where I had to collapse in a parking lot because my body seized up and I just couldn't move. Uh, the reason why that happened was not because of lack of water necessarily. Sure, I was probably a little bit uh, low on water just because I sweat so much. It was a lack of electrolytes. Okay, so I want to go over the importance of electrolytes uh, as it pertains to hydration. It's not just about water. Electrolytes are probably, electrolyte balance is probably almost more important. So when I'm talking about electrolyte balance, I'm mainly referring to two things, potassium and sodium. Uh, the reason why is because you have what's called a potassium sodium pump within each cell. Uh, so the most basic you know, part of our existence essentially, aside from DNA, our cells. Um, the sodium potassium pump uh, dictates fluid balance within the cell, uh, you know, within the, uh, the intracellular fluid and then extracellular fluid. Essentially what this does is it helps pass electrical signals from cell to cell, which helps you know, muscles contract and all that kind of stuff. So when you have too much or not enough of one, it will screw up those signals, and that's what causes that, the cramping, okay? So for me, usually it means I'm, I'm low on potassium, okay? So to that end, I picked up uh, essentially a, a V8 type juice. It's organic, a little bit different, uh, a little bit more, more high quality. The reason why, has 640 milligrams of potassium per eight ounce serving. So that's a pretty concentrated dose. It's gonna help as well as a good bit of sodium. So you're getting both of those things in there to really help, um, you know. It has 640 sodium, 520 potassium. Oh, excuse me. Well, either way, 520 milligrams of potassium is still, still a, a good uh, dosage there. Uh, and you're getting both at the same time, so it's going to, like I said, help create that balance. Another thing that I like to use is this. This is Concentrace. It's uh, got a whole bunch of trace minerals in it, um, not limited to just sodium, potassium, a whole lot of stuff, magnesium, chloride, sulfate, lithium. It's got actually over 72 trace minerals. This company actually also makes something called Electrolyte Stamina which is really, really good. It's, it comes in pill form that I, I definitely like to take. I'm actually out of it. I need to go pick some more up. It really helps with hydration and prevents you know, dehydration um, you know, from happening in the first place. The other thing I have here is sparkling mineral water. Okay, the mineral water portion is important because it's, it's not just purified water. It's not even just spring water. It has a higher concentration of all your electrolytes than standard water, which is gonna help you stay hydrated. Then you have your uh, coconut water here, which once again has a lot more electrolytes, um, as well as a little bit of sugar, which, which helps water um, get into your cells as well. Kombucha here, uh, this is just really good for um, rehydration in terms of, you know, it's got water, all that, a little bit of electrolytes, but also got a lot of enzymes and probiotics that are gonna help your body just re-nourish. You have maca root here uh, with rhodiol and a couple other things, some ginger, some stuff like that, which is going to help bring down inflammation because when you get dehydrated, inflammation happens. Maca also contains you know, electrolytes uh, and also a lot of good beneficial nutrients to help rehydrate you. And obviously we got the big old jugs of water back there for once we get the electrolytes in. Part of the mess. Yes, we just moved in. Um, so just wanted to explain that, you know, use my bad experience yesterday to help you know, prevent you guys from having that. So what I'm gonna be doing today is the first thing I'm gonna do, well the first thing I did this morning was I had my shake uh, with apple cider vinegar, a glass of water I should say, with apple cider vinegar and some of the trace minerals. Then I've been drinking a ton of water since then. I had my, my normal you know, morning shake with my veggies and uh, fruit and all that kind of stuff. First thing I'm gonna do before I drink any of this stuff is have the V8 because I need to get those electrolytes in so that the water and all the, uh, the water has somewhere to go. And basically the electrolytes give it direction, so to speak. Otherwise, you can literally piss it out and make yourself more dehydrated. So electrolytes are so important. Then I'm gonna move on to some coconut water. Then I'll probably start sipping on this, and then I'll start sipping on just some regular water. I also had this in my morning shake uh, already as well, uh, and I already had a kombucha as well. Uh, so yeah, just some good resources for you guys. Uh, like I said, I wanna keep in contact with you in any way that I can, giving you as much information as possible. Um, yeah, uh, by the way, if you haven't sent me your goals yet, please do so. Just shoot me a quick email. Doesn't need to be anything too crazy. Um, especially for those of you are, that want to you know, continue competing and stuff like that, let me know what your thoughts are. 
you know, a couple of you want to do some powerlifting, just let me know what your next strongman meet uh, you know, looks to be. There's some good ones in the area, like the Beer City Brawl. That's a pretty close one in the wintertime, you know, a couple of you guys want to do. Um, just keep me posted. Uh, have a happy Wednesday.